Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me. My name is Connor Terrio, and I'm a BIM technical consultant here at Great Tech. In today's short Revit tip, we're going to be discussing how to change the part type of MEP fittings. This comes in handy when you're placing P traps. Um, I'll show you kind of the generic P trap that we can load in from Revit, from Autodesk, and I'll walk you through the workflow on placing them without changing the part type and then placing them after we change the part type. Let's jump into it. Okay, here we are in Revit. Uh, as you can see, I've just got a sanitary layout here for this little demo building. Uh, what I'd like to like take a look at here is um, this little layout here for the sink. So I'm just going to select these. I'll show you what our kind of end goal here is. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll walk through how to change that part type, the workflow, how to change the part type. So I'm going to select the elements in this area here and come up and select on the selection box tool. Just give me a nice little 3D view here. Um, this is kind of our end goal. We want the P-trap to be in here and we want it to just pop in automatically, just not automatically, but just easily, just like our other fittings, uh, just like our other fittings do. So to get there, I'm going to model in um, an example before we go through and change the part type. Go back to my floor plan view, shift this up. So let's just model this in here. Right click, draw pipe. Okay, wonderful. I've got my elbow here. And we can see it's a little bit difficult to place. Rotate this around here. We've got to kind of use these little rotate symbols in order to get this in the right orientation. A little bit confusing clearly as we've got if we look at this in section we've got two two of these little rotate symbols there we go finally get it in the right orientation take a look in plan let's get this in the right spot here Thirty two, perfect. No align this into place and then connect this into. Okay, that took a little bit longer than I was anticipating, but nonetheless, it proves you know how difficult it is sometimes to place these fittings. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to edit this family. We're going to go up here to edit family, select on that P trap, come to edit family. Now we're in the family environment, family editing environment here. Um, and what we're looking for is family categories and parameters. I'm going to go up there to the top, your little yellow folder. Uh, we're not going to change the category, but what we are going to change is the part type parameter found down here in the bottom. Now this says multi-port. I want to change this to an elbow. If we change this to an elbow, press OK, and we load this in. and override existing. Let's take a look at, oh, we can close this one down. Let's take a look at the final scenario here. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to begin to model this one in. So let me just move my section up. Now, I'm going to model this in from my sink down. Connect these two in with my modifying tools. Get an elbow in there. And once I get the elbow there, I can select my elbow and in the type selector in the properties menu, I'm now going to see that P-trap. Okay, we changed it from multiport to elbow. Now Revit recognizes it as an elbow. I know it's a P-trap, it's not an elbow, but it makes it a lot easier to place. Now this one came in a little upside down. So we're going to change our, our method of drawing this one. And we're going to come in like this. We're going to come down, draw a pipe come across. Now when we place this, it pops in automatically. Comes in at the right orientation. And so what's important about this is not just changing the part type, it's also the method in which you draw from the sink. Right, because initially I just modeled in one pipe down and then connected it with my modifying tools. That put this in in the wrong orientation. I actually needed to come in fully Draw it down from my sink, come across, then select my elbow, pop it in, and it should pop in in the right orientation. Okay, so a couple little tips and tricks there in placing these P-traps. Hopefully this is going to improve your MEP workflows uh, and productivity uh, within Revit. If you guys have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out to me directly. Uh, through LinkedIn. You can see my uh, contact information on the last um, PowerPoint sp spread there. Um, it was a pleasure. I'll see you in the next video.